Have you checked the Hey everyone, welcome back to the horror show. I'm Cecil Laird. Oh, with Wolfman. And we are here to do a trailer reaction roundup. Um, we would have done it live, but uh, we have too much we're trying to get through uh, this week, unfortunately. And we are already recording this at 10.40 at night after just recording a review of a not very good movie. Um, which you'll see the review of tomorrow, because we're embargoed until tomorrow at noon. So, anyway, let's get into it now. Because we don't have to wait for audience thoughts, we'll be cruising through these a lot quicker than usual, I would anticipate. So, um, bear with us, and uh, if it's a bad movie, we're just not going to spend that much time on it. So, the first thing is called Ash, and it's an Aaron Paul, Eliza Gonzalez thing. I'm not really sure what it is. Um, I think it's kind of sci-fi thriller, maybe? All right, here we go. In three... Two, one, go. Are you ready? Yeah. What do you remember? Remember? Yeah, that wouldn't be unnerving at all. Yeah, right? Just moments. Huh. Images. Honestly, visually it looks really fucking cool. It looks cool, yeah. Yeah, visually like this I'm pretty intrigued for it. Oh, oh damn. Pretty unique visuals. I'm I'm pretty about it, man. Oh, oh there we go. That sold me even more. Cool a little creature. Uh, yeah. Right on. Well, that's neat. Maybe a little dead spacey kind of. Kind of. Ash. Okay. I'm, cool. A shutter. shutter. Oh, it's shutter. And X Y Z. Okay. That's I'm, good product. I'm really about this. I mean, I, it looks a little. You I, know, I like a good sci-fi space alien type thing. Aaron Paul is a great actor. That looks awesome. But these... The visuals, though, like... It, it looks amazing. It looks like a tr hell of a trip. Like, this shot right here. Yeah. Dude, yeah. There's so many cool things. Again, the color schemes, like... Yeah, they're, they're bold choices. And I like the, bl the heavy blues. Mm-hmm. But then there's, you know, red for conflict and stuff. I am... Yeah, I'm, I'm really cool. about this. Right on. Love that surprising one out of the gate. Fuck yeah. All right, so that's Ash. Um, let us know what your guys' thoughts are on Ash in the comments down below. Oh, I don't need to, I don't need to go anywhere, do I? I just remove and then do this one. Next thing is called Beyond the Chamber of Terror. Hmm. Don't know much about it, but let's give it a try. The name Mist. Fucking Carruthers! Okay. When you've had everything taken away, eh, what else are you gonna do? In seven seconds, I'll be rudely interrupted by those responsible. Little do they know, that'll put them exactly where I want them. <laughs> what? I'm confused. I am too. Best okay. low budget gore fest. Okay. Oh, jeez. He's smashing You've been so head mad you beat another head. motherfucker with another motherfucker? <laughs> <laughs> oh, alright. Oh, it's zombies. Ugh. Why does it have to be zombies? Because it's, it's easy. Oh, well, I think you missed your cue there, guy. Kick out the jams, motherfucker! Uh, that's a no for me. Yeah, I mean, I'm not about that. I like gore fests, but it uh, it does not it does not a good horror film look comedy. Like. Yeah, I don't know, not for me. No. All right. Next. 
Next indeed. So that's Beyond the Chamber of Terror. The next one is called Black Cab. Uh, another Nick Frost movie. Mm. So he's got the Let's sitcom one that we just watched. He's Let's... got one called Get Away, and then he's got one called Black Cab. Hmm. Well, let's hope this one's better than the, uh, oh, the one we watched. Crazy House. Oh, God, that was garbage. I reviewed it without you. I know. I'm sure you feel terrible about I was. That. I'm so heartbroken <laughs> I didn't go on that review. Three, two, one, go. Oh, I don't think She's she like, I didn't know about this, but Oops. okay. Uh oh. Um, the wind is tinted. Can't see her. No night then. I've picked you up before, ain't I? The hospital. Hospital? No. He doesn't. Yes, I did. So Mary's maternity. Uh huh. What's he talking about? He doesn't know, does he? I'm getting out. Huh. Hey, unlock the doors. What the hell? Yeah, you can leave us here. Oh, I can't do that. You're fucking mad! Cool. Huh. I like when he plays crazy. Actually on board. It's intriguing. Yeah. I'm gonna remain optimistic. Yeah, I am too. It'll be on Shutter. Cool. Yeah, I think that'll be worth checking out. Yeah. All right. Okay. Not a whole lot to say on that one. I do like when you know Nick Frost playing kind of crazy. Mm -hmm. I think he works that pretty well. Um, all right, Carnage for Christmas. This is a new trailer that just dropped, literally today. Okay. So here we go. And do it's Aussie, so that's that's usually fun. Horror from down under. Three, two, one, go. There was this old abandoned house not far from my place that all the kids were scared of. Belonged to an old man in the 1930s. And every Christmas, we run about the town dressed as Santa, handing out toys to the neighborhood kids. But everyone else knew that he had a dark side. Kind of cool drawing. Danielle. Your sister is here. I'm not really digging the, the camera filters no, and shit. No. It doesn't have a very studio look. It has a real low budget look. Mm -hmm. We have the whole town waking up to the rumor that a ghost from the 30s is going around killing people. Lola, what is going on down there? Do you have any enemies or any stalkers? Right, there are there are some uh, uh, color choices in the scenes that I do like, like mm -hmm. but at the same time, the again the the, the the filtering effects is just kind of throwing me off, especially the 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 diffusing and the softness. It's just it's almost a weird soft glow. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't mind, like, the, the Santa-looking guy and the mask look kind of neat. I appreciate the <laughs> cracked didn't porcelain. see until the very end. But I yeah. know, but I'm just saying. Yeah, no, no, I'm just I'm saying just that saying. They, they hid the best thing until the very, yeah. very end. Yeah. Uh, not good, though. It doesn't look good no. to me. Looks pretty bad. No. Uh, <clears throat> All right. I think we can move right along from that one. Mm -hmm. That was Carnage for Christmas. Wow. Um, next is Devin. This is bound to be good because this is uh, Jay Wow's movie who i don't know one of the jersey shore chicks oh it's, it's bound to be good but it is bloody disgusting's company putting it out cineverse so i i don't know i think that's their company three two one go 
five young adults have gone missing near the area of Rangeley, Pennsylvania after responding to a random website. The website was seeking volunteers to help find clues about a missing child. A new video has just been released. I don't know if you want to go find that child. If anyone finds this thing. search team William Edwards, Allison Roberts, Jared Stevens, Kat Rose, and Carly Carmichael have been missing for over a month and little information is known on what happened to them. Reporting from Rangeley, Pennsylvania, I'm Kimberly Kravitz. Uh, uh, not for me. No. And it didn't look terrible. It didn't look as bad as I was thinking it no. would look. But definitely not for me. All right. So, that's hmm. Devin. Next is a new trailer for Don't Move. There was oh, a very enigmatic one. thing that we had last time. I think this is the Sam Raimi produced one. Mm -hmm. So, I'm interested to see if this is more of a story trailer or just another teaser. It looks like a minute, so we'll see. You have about 20 minutes before you're completely paralyzed. What did you do to me? Just a special relaxant to make things easier on both of us. At minute one, your fine motor skills will start to go. At minute 10, your legs will begin tingling. At minute 15, your legs will give out altogether. 18, your breathing will become labored. And just before everything shuts down on you, your voice. I like the premise. That's pretty mm -hmm. fucked up. Yeah, it is very fucked up. I, I like it. I, I I'm do I'm down for mm -hmm. that. Oh wow, that's wait, that's like that's Friday. Two, yeah, that's just a couple days from now. Yep. Cool. I think that's worth a look at. Oh yeah, worth a review probably. Cool. Right on. I was wondering what else we were gonna get this month. Mm -hmm. That looks interesting. It does. And again, like I like the, the quick flashes. The yeah. she's a great actress. I know, I've seen her in Yellowstone. I thought she was great. Oh, okay. Um, the other guy, he looks familiar. I just can't. Place him. Place him. Um, but no, th again, th this uh, this scenario of, hey, you got 20 minutes to get as far as you can before you collapse, and then you just, you can't, you're fucked. Mm -hmm. you're, you're like, you can't do anything. Uh, it's terrifying. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. So there you go. I think this is going to be a good one. Netflix gets some bangers mm -hmm. every now and again, so no, I'm, I'm on board. So next is the new season of the Goosebumps reboot. Um, the last season was the Justin Long season, and it did like a, like five of the books. This is apparently think five I watched any other that. of the books. I tried the first episode, and I just didn't care to continue. Mm -hmm. I heard it was a little bit weak, but the new one is apparently starring David Schwimmer. So let's take a look here. Interesting. So they're just each episode of the books? or um, So it's one season-long story, but each episode does one of the books, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, so, all right. Three, two, one, go. At least that's the way the first season was. I want you to have a really fun and also safe summer out here. I only have one rule. Stay out of the basement. What do you got in the basement? Did you guys know that Devin and Cece's uncle was one of the kids that went missing in 1994? Uh, can I get you out of my you finally processed the request. Only well, took you 30 years. Oh, what is that? My brother's clothes from the night he died. They were killed by a ghost. No, nobody knows what happened. Yo, check this out. What the hell is this? Damn. Hey, um, 
What kind of plant should you always watch out for? Ah, uh, an ambush. Hmm. What's going on with that? I don't know. Trey, your car? It's in my driveway again. Trespassing. Yo, what are you doing? Are you out of your mind? It's a distinct possibility. Huh. Oh, that's not good. Things have been happening that are not normal. Whoa! Trey's missing. The uh, kid's missing. Sound familiar? No! Dodge behind all the crazy stuff happening. We don't know for sure that he is. Gary, uh, I'm not controlling a car. I don't know if I want to be down here. Hmm. You don't have a kid in your basement, do you? <laughs> no, that would be. No. Are you hmm. okay? Who knows how kids get these ideas? Too many horror shows on TV, I say. Mm -hmm. Doesn't yeah, look bad. It doesn't look bad. It just doesn't look like it's going to be great. Like the first season wasn't that great. So, I don't mm -hmm. know. I, I might be willing to give it a try if people say it's really good. Yeah. But, yeah, there you go. All right, Goosebumps the Vanishing. Fair enough. I like that the property's still alive. So the next one is Halloween Aftermath. This is um, another fan film that is mm -hmm. coming from James Grimm. And uh, we, uh, we're we going to take a quick look at it here. So let's go ahead and get that going. I don't think it's connected to any other fan film that he's made. I think it's its own thing. I think so, yeah. So let's, uh, let's see. Three, two, one, go. Ooh, nice little drone shot. For the past two years, this town... That looks like it's gonna have some pretty good kills. I like the the trailer was cut really nicely. Yeah, yeah. It's, uh, it, I will like that was. I, I like like this. Game. I really like yeah. this opening shot. The drone this was nice. Good. The drones always add some production mm -hmm. value. Um, I think I saw James appear there towards yep. the end a couple times, but um, but yeah, it doesn't look bad. I you know the the issue is neither of us are giant Michael That's Myers true. fans, but That's um, true. But it does look like it's definitely a competently done you know mm -hmm. fan film. Um, but again, this know. is just that story of you know the group of people like in their support group of you know coming together of you know after you know. People I like the white lost. eyes. That's an yeah, interesting true. difference. I've not seen that before, and I like that he moves kind of fast rather than super just slow. a lumbering lug yeah yep. walking wall as i like to call it. <laughs> um but yeah i mean it, it's all going to depend on obviously the acting and everything it's tough to tell when you, there's not a lot of dialogue mm -hmm. in the trailer but um but it looks like you know it looks like it's shot well it looks, oh absolutely it, again, the trailer's i like the well, color so. concepts too that he's using that's a <laughs> yeah i mean it's it's all it, it, you know it looks like it's well done yeah, so absolutely yeah all right cool oh, yeah dude so you michael myers fans there you go keep an eye out for halloween aftermath i'm guessing it's probably not too terribly far away um but go and check that out next up we have he sees you when you're sleeping another christmas horror movie mm. another killer santa gotta love that all right and we're almost about halfway through <laughs> three two one go in that house. My aunt and cousin have moved in, so I'm begrudgingly spending Christmas with them. What a great house you have. Oh, thank you. We love it. And Afton. Hi, Melody. Well, it seems we have a pretty cool house here. 
they're so bad, then why spend Christmas with them? I don't think we fully move on until I do this. There is no killer Santa Claus. <gasps> we're gonna send Chester back to the sanitarium, and we're gonna share the profits three ways. It would be easier for us to just bump them off. <laughs> Maybe I'm going crazy. Christmas Eve is a very dangerous night. <laughs> It's the one night of the year that Santa can let himself into your house. They've got Chester thinking he's crazier than ever. That's certainly the plan, isn't it? And sometimes he's not very nice. <laughs> we have no witnesses, no body, no evidence of foul play. Find out about Henry Bates, where he is and if he's still in the hospital. So, so what, what does the cycle want? Who knows, maybe to finish up what has started. Or well, maybe we should just give him you. Oh! You should never have come back here. I can't believe this is happening. Are we just supposed to wait here? Trust you? Just didn't kill anybody! Ah! Details, details. <laughs> I personally haven't seen any goddamn killer Santa Claus! Think about this, please! Ah! What kind of swing was that? <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> I wanted to keep it very close to his body. Um, oh, yeah, that's a no go man. for me, dog. That's gonna be a no from me, dog. Uh, all right, this is the last trailer we're gonna get for Heretic. We do have a screening for this. Um, I think next week, maybe. Okay. Um, but um, but yeah, I'm uh, I'm very excited about it because it looks really good. But this is the final trailer for it. So here we go, Heretic. Some people think that the you know the third trailer gives away too much, so be warned, y'all. You may want to skip past, but here we go. Three, two, one, go. Good afternoon. Mr. Reed, are you interested in learning more about the Church of Jesus Christ? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> wow. No, you read more than we do. No, seriously, Mr. Reed. <laughs> Mr. Reed. <laughs> well, ladies, I think it is time. Time for what? <laughs> time for enlightenment. <gasps> Mr. Reed? Welcome. <laughs> we need to return to the church. If you aren't ready to leave, uh, you'll have to exit through the back of my house. So which door? It's a simple choice, but it should not be made simply. Belief or disbelief. What happens if we choose the wrong door? <laughs> it's not going through. If he wants, I think that would be a good. Should we ask him for help? It doesn't matter what you say to him. So you have to go dun in order to go hoot. <laughs> I beg your pardon? The only way out is through. Is this the game? High five. Hm. Now on, we challenge you. For the rest of your lives, there will be before you chose, and there will be after. <laughs> Ladies, verbally acknowledge, please. What have you been looking for? What have you found? Gary. Hmm. <laughs> you figured it out yet? Yeah? Hmm. I'm still definitely int interested. It looks awesome. Yeah, I'm. I'm like, I'm definitely still about it. I'm. I'm very excited about that one. We don't need to say too much, but no. Um, definitely very excited about that one. All right, so that's Heretic. I mean, yeah, Hugh Grant looks awesome. Mm -hmm. The story looks clever. The production design looks incredible. So, uh, next is the newest installment of In Search of Darkness, 90s edition. 90 to 1994. Three, two, one, go. to the movies Miss me. The 
90s. It was edgier, it was grungier, it was a little more self-aware. It's so much better than what we thought we were making. A time for total escape. Broke into the wrong goddamn wreck room! The industry is changing, both on the big screen and on the small screen, in profound and sweeping ways. It's a big ride. It's scary, it's funny, it's twisted, and it's sexy. Hot and squishy. <laughs> when we were out of control and out of our minds, all the legends are true. Holy guys! Every night we were blowing shit up, yeah! just having so much fun. Groovy. We did it really fast. It was very, very <laughs> rushed. It's certainly the only movie that I know of with Death by Corn Cobb. What's the next appalling, disgusting, highly inventive way you can find to kill somebody? All the A-list stars. They want to be able to see what it feels like to rip off somebody's head. Oh my God! What the f Digital hmm. visual effects. It opened up a whole new world. You're gone. When it doesn't work, oh boy. Oh, it's just a bunch mm, brain of scan. <laughs> Thank God for the way horror. <laughs> Tim Curry, man, that was a casting coup. I am the worst dream come true. Candyman, Candyman, Candyman. Be my victim. Hell no. I'm not gonna look in the mirror and say Candyman five times. I'm not stupid. <laughs> it was an intense thing to do. It gives me the heebie-jeebies. <laughs> you don't like it, huh? And I said, we need the subspecies. That's the poster. Gotta make the poster. We sent the footage back to the States, and Charlie was like, what the hell? You want nothing but a big old pussy anyway. I've called Jason the pussy. He paid the price for it. No one on planet Earth knew that Freddy's glove was gonna come up at the end of that movie. They jumped to their feet. I probably should have snagged one of those things when we were making that movie. <laughs> Want a day? Want a day? Want a day? Oh, I kick ass for the Lord. Mm -hmm. This one's for the fans. Well, the 90s was very self-reflexive. So it pushes a lot of buttons. Oh, we can't have eating babies on screen. I could go to jail for doing a movie. People were like, how dare you remake a classic? We were making a very weird, weird, weird movie. I try to say my line through these giant teeth, and it, uh, ka, ka. To go to a video store in the 90s, obscure horror movies that I've never heard of. It was a glorious time to be a fan of films. I like the crappy ones. Is it any good? No. Is it fun? Absolutely. Is that kind of a movie? It's a horror film. Hmm. A moment of film history that shall never be forgotten. As long as it's entertaining, and I will watch the shit out of it. <laughs> oh, that stuff is really, really rich. Again, it looks like another awesomely made documentary by these guys. Hmm? I said again, it, it, this looks like an awesomely made documentary yeah, by these guys. It's a, a, but look at 80 bucks. Yeah. 80 oh, bucks. Four, to out, four to six hours, crazy. probably. It is. It's Yeah, it's like four hours, but god damn, though. 80 bucks is so much. Yeah. Um, all right, but that does look good, as the other ones did, you know? Same quality. And it's that's my decade, you know? I love yep, the 90s same. horror so much. All right, <clears throat> so the next is Nosferatu, A Symphony of Horror. Now, the reason I wanted to react to this is because this is the Nosferatu movie that Doug Jones has been working on for years. What? It's a low-budget one, and he plays... Um, Nosferatu. Nosferatu, yeah. So, um, it's finally coming out, and uh, this is the first trailer that's come okay. out about yeah. it. So, I'm, I'm interested in this one. Here we go. Let's see. I mean, obviously, it's not going to hold a candle as far as... Uh, Advertisement goes with the new one. That's right fair, now, yeah. So. All right, three, two, one, go. Hmm. We have just acquired a dear new client. He intends to mm. purchase a residence in our fair city, and he wishes for you to deliver all the papers to him personally. I know nothing about Harry. <laughs> Indeed, there may be some sweat. Even a bit of blood. Lately, my dreams have been haunted by a tall and frightening shadow. And when I awake, it's still there. 
Let not his shadow engulf you, for pain of death will surely follow. Most of all, beware midnight stroke, as then it feasts on the victim's blood. I'm not digging this green screen. No, it looks like old like video games from the 90s. Full motion video. Like I get the aesthetic where they're going for, you know, trying to emulate the original 1920s. Master will be here to take all your life. <coughs> I know who you are. I will find you and kill you before you lay a hand on her. Come with me and help me find the true killer. There is no such thing as vampires, Thomas. Feed on the blood of the living. Have to murder, murder us all. No, don't shoot! Ow! Ow. I assure you, I'm all right. No lesser truth has ever been spoken. It looks kind of rough, unfortunately. I'll at least say the makeup on him looks pretty good. Yeah. But Doug looks like he's good, but yeah, uh, everything else looks pretty rough. Yeah. Pretty rough. Like, yeah, 90s full motion video in video games. Like, yeah. All right. Well, the next thing is called wow. Puzzle Box. Um, this one mm. might have come out, maybe? Or maybe not. Hey, who are you? You can't... Oh. Hi, my name is Kate, and I am here to rehabilitate myself. Creepy. Good for you, Kate. It's huge. No, okay. See if there's any more doors, because they, you know, there might be one that's unlocked. Not Please, an alcoholic. Let me take the precautions I need to keep you sober. It's fine. Oh, wonderful. No power. Actually, you're scared, so. Okay, screw this. Mm. I'm coming, I'm coming to find you. Where are you? Follow my boy. Okay. I'm kind of not digging it so <laughs> far. No. I mean, you heard a scream? I heard something. Oh, okay. That's not possible. What, what? Is she possessed? Yeah, I don't know. What kind of withdrawal is she going through? Yeah. I know how to do it now. I know how to do it now. Let me try again. No, no. It's a big pass from me, Doug. I'm so confused that I don't understand what's going on. Not it for me. Apparently Kate's trying to get sober and she freaks out on everybody in the house. Alright, next is the curse of the necklace. Oh, she get rid of the necklace. Oh, it's a to be original. Oh great. Alright, let's go. Warner Bros. Huh. Bus Ellie, you have to hurry up. Have a good day at school. You did great. Is that Velma? Don't tell mom or I'll slit your throat. Whoa. Damn. I'm not really. Yeah? Mm. Are you here for dinner? What are you even doing here? Pretending like we're one happy family? Hell yeah. This is for your mm -hmm. mother. That necklace had a dark history attached to it. A connection to the spirit realm. has the power to trap the soul it torments. You're too old for an imaginary friend, and you're too young for an imaginary boyfriend. It's attached to you. I saw what you saw. I'm trying to think of where I know her from, like where I've seen her from. This should have been destroyed. I was released its power for quite some time. 
It is safer to contain evil than it is to release it. Mom, can I tell you something? What are you doing? Why didn't you just destroy it? You can't. What happened to my daughter? cool little shot yeah but I don't still know, not not really for me no again it looks like it's gonna have some elements and some decent acting i will at least give it that but yeah overall yeah i'm kind of done with like, the, the the haunted objects the zombie stuff like i'm just yeah. all right bored. next one is electric state this one might not be that much horror either but it is a big budget sci-fi kind of thing i think so uh let's see three two one go Oh. Weird. That's mainly Bobby Brown, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Huh. Blonde. Right now, all of us have something in common. Oh, wicked. We all lost something after the rebellion. Huh. Robots lost their freedom. What the fuck? Weird. What the fuck? Humans lost connection with each other. And I lost everyone I loved. Or so I thought. Oh, you wanna go get your brother back? I'll go with you. Someday you will find me. Oh, Russo Brothers, wow. Damn. Hmm. Like, it's an interesting concept. Yeah. I'm sorry. I just don't have a whole lot of faith in oh, Millie Bobby Brown. Oh, wow. Mr. Peanut? Was that the Tooch? Yeah, that was. Get ready. You ready for for what now? That's cool. Not horror, but still cool. <gasps> Again, it's it's a neat concept. <laughs> it's got a stat cast. Yeah, a big cast. Like, I, I'm, I'm, I I'm intrigued. I think it'll be fun. Uh, I'm intrigued. I don't have a whole lot of faith in Bobby Brown's acting, though. But I think everyone else is going to be solid. I don't know. I do. I think she's good. That dragon movie was not super awesome, but that wasn't her fault. <laughs> um, all right. Next is the man in the white van. We're getting there. We're only like five left here. She Three, two, one, go. You should probably stay away from the van. Trailer, trailer, pre-trailer, trailer. Fuck you. Oh, Sean Astin. And Ali Warder. It's a nice car. Stalker horror. Mm -hmm. Oh wow. Hmm. I think it was following me. You have to stop over exaggerating. It's following me everywhere. He's watching you. He will wave, dummy. You are safe and found. Maybe somebody just went down the wrong driveway. Oh, Jesus. What do you want?
Hmm. Hmm. Eh. Doesn't look bad, but not really. Teen horror. Kind of thing, yeah. Alright, that's the man in the white van. Alright, we're finally getting down to it here. We got four left. First one is the first trailer for The Monkey, the Stephen King mm. story. That has been adapted by the guy that did Long Legs. Mm -hmm. So here we go. Three, two, one, go. For the longest time, there was nothing. But then it appeared. A beast not from this earth. Smiting the ones who deserved it. The ones who didn't. And everyone in between. Whoever controls it, whoever controls life and death. And those deaths are really fucked up. Oh. Damn. Everybody dies. And that's life. It's a goddamn mess in there. Have you been up there? It's like that restaurant. Hmm. Spaghetti City. That's Tatiana Maslany. Oh, Elijah Wood? Cool. That was fun. Come on, baby, yeah. Damn. Again, his short stories are always they so always much more movies, betterly yeah. adapted than his uh, uh, films. Did you say more better? I did. I totally did, and I caught myself. I'm like, wait a minute, what the fuck? Yeah, I still rolled with that it. That looks good. I I don't know the story of the monkey, but it's eleven thirty at I'm night. Down to filming, find out. Right? I know, I know. We're almost done. <laughs> the Strangers Part Two. I have not seen The Strangers Part One, but this is just the teaser trailer. So, let's see what we got. Oh man, it's a long teaser trailer. All right, I haven't seen The Strangers Part One. This is the continuation of. This is supposed to be a trilogy. It was mm. all shot at once, and they're just taking their time. Three, two, one, go. Mm. The first one was not received well. Yeah. Here. Oh, that's how the first one starts. Um, right. um, I'm not about it. I've never, I, I I've never liked the Strangers terrible, movies. I, I don't know. I haven't seen the first one, so I don't hold that much hope out because people said it was terrible. But I will eventually watch them both. The thing is, it's on like the Showtime streaming service, so it's like the one I don't. Fuck, have, watch so. the Showtime. I don't know. Um, all right. All Finally, right. we're here. Werewolves. Yes. And then the Wolfman trailer. So let's let's kick it into gear. This is what we've been waiting for. Yeah. Fuck Frank Grillo. All right, three, two, one, go. Oh, Jesus Christ. 
All right, you know there's going to be those lines in that. <laughs> so originally this was supposed to be, this was titled Year Two. No. Oh. This was supposed to take place the second year after the werewolf outbreak. Mm-hmm. Oh, oh, that looks fucking cool. Uncle West, why can't you stay? They need me to help them try and stop this. We're the only family we have left. We got this. Cody! What are you doing, man? You should kill somebody. We are all soldiers now. Tonight, when that sun sets, it's gonna be every man for himself. We have a nine-hour window to test and report our findings. We hope to see if this mutation can be blocked. Let's go over the rules. Don't open the door for anyone. Don't hesitate for a second. Hoorah! 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 Good luck tonight. Can it be retraction convincing? Oh, jeez. Okay. That's cool. A whole bunch of transformations. Yeah, honestly, the transformations look like they're gonna be pretty fucking cool. Oh, wow. That's okay. Sick. No more guns, no more guards. Those things are coming for us. Nice. I'm here. Fuck yeah, dude. Hey! Bite me! I am all fucking about this. Oh no. Yo. Dude. Dude, the practical effects look fucking cool, yeah, man. Yeah, practical look dope. <laughs> December 6th. All right. Not too far away. I want to get that last shot. That's sick. That looks pretty fucking good, man. That's sick. Cool, man. Yeah. And again, good. like the concept of you know the, that super moon hitting basically like a latent gene in you know half of the world's population and shit, and there was a giant massive outbreak of fucking werewolves. <laughs> this is fucking cool. Yeah, that looks dope. All right, werewolves is a win. All right, finally, the first full trailer, not teaser trailer for Wolfman, I believe, is what this is. And here we Almost go. Almost fucking three minutes. <laughs> Jesus. All right, three, two, one, go. I wonder if we'll see the whole movie. Pre-trailer trailer. Oh, they're upside down. Oh, not quite. Did they get thrown into a tree? What the fuck? Why did you... Oh. I figured that was gonna happen. Hmm. Your mother's dead. Hello? Did anyone hear me? Hello? We were in an accident. Daddy, are we gonna die? No, it's my job to protect you. And we Thank you did, Mom. were attacked. I think my husband was infected. Mm. Husband? Uh, yeah, right? Weird. I mean, who the fuck was the other person that got eaten? Daddy. Daddy. What's wrong with Daddy? He got sick. What is happening to 
Can you understand me? I mean, I'll, I'm I'm excited to watch it, but I'm gonna watch it. I don't everything. know if it looks good or bad. I I I, don't, I can't tell yet. <laughs> I, 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 I like Lee Wan L. He's he's a very talented director. I love The Invisible Man. I mean, he it's like a wolf man with alopecia. <laughs> he's I mean he's had a hand in so many good things, and so I kind of just have to trust that he knows what he's doing here. <laughs> Uh, you know, you you hope that he knows what he's doing. I said I'm trusting that he knows what he's doing. So yeah, I mean, I'm I'm about it. I'm I'm kind of about it. I wonder who the fuck this person is. I don't know, because clearly they don't they don't really matter in the story. <laughs> Apparently not. But um, yeah, I don't know. It uh, looks good to me. I'm again. I'm still gonna watch it. I'm, I'm like I'm still gonna. I'll, I'll reserve my final thoughts for when we do the the, the review for the movie. Right. But it looks it looks for the most part there's like visual shots and everything I do like. Okay. It does look just shot that does look shot very well. All right. I don't know. So there you go, guys. That's gonna do it for the reaction roundup. Thank you all very much for watching. Until next time. Oh wait. Uh, <laughs> Uh, thank you very much to all of our patrons for supporting the channel the way that you do. We greatly appreciate mm -hmm. it. It's, it's yeah, it's after 11.30 now, so I am ready to, I gotta turn this around too, so. Um, thank yeah. you guys for watching. Until next time, I've been Cecil Laird. Rub the Wolf, man. And remember, stay scared.